My name is Juan Calderon, and I was a Fulbright Scholar back in 2008 uh, when I started my uh, doctoral training at the Johns Hopkins University uh, in Baltimore, Maryland. I was really in a world-class uh, place where I, I got the, the chance to interact with many famous scientists, which at the same time um, were very close to the students. My favorite experience and the one I always reflect back on is the, the number of good friends that I made there. You know, for, for us as uh, immigrants, if you want, uh, or expats as other people call them, uh, they really made me feel warm. I, I, I have, my best friends are, are from the US, are US citizens. I, I remember back in the day, I guess it was 2007 when all the application process started. And once we got uh, selected, or I guess sifted through the first round of selection, uh, somebody told us here in Chile that once you're a Fulbright, you're always a Fulbrighter. And I, I never expected that to, to be exactly true in the broad sense that it is. So even nowadays, whenever someone hears the story that I got the Fulbright scholarship and that I got into the program, they, they literally begin treating you differently. And I don't mean it and neither in a negative nor in a privileged way. It's just the, you know, the, the, the great prestige of the program that really comes with you forever. So it, it's both, again, a, a, an honor, but also a responsibility to, to you know, to say that you're a Fulbright scholar. I have to say this, the impact that the Fulbright program had is that it literally changed the trajectory of the scientific career that I wanted to have. And in that sense, I can, I can, or I will always be thankful for that.